In the blue corner, to my right, wearing the silver sequin trunks with red sequin trim, he weighs 175 pounds. His professional record, 20 victories, one defeat, 10 wins coming by way of knockout. He is rated number 10 in the world by the WBC, number 8 in the world by the IBF, and number four in the world by the WBA. Here is the challenger, Derek Royalty Harmon. Harmon. His opponent in the red corner, wearing the gold trunks with the black trim, he weighs 174 pounds. His professional record, Derek, your trunk's a little high. A blow here is going to be a fair blow. Understand that, guys. This isn't going to be a low blow. All right? We've gone over all the rules. Just remember them all. Protect yourselves at all times. Questions? Good luck, guys. Hey, going into this fight, it has all the look of a Sunday driver dueling the, the late, great Dale Earnhardt. Let's see how long the challenger can stay with the champion. Troy. Thank you. One fighter who trains in the same gym with Harmon in Las Vegas said to us, too slow. Of course, almost all opponents through Jones' career have been too slow. There's no shame in that. Fight begins with Harmon trying to stick his jab. Harmon has got to get in there and whatever punch that every round that Roy Jones lands, he's got to land four to one to make certain that he wins the scorecard. Harmon going to work on Jones' body. That is what he said would be his plan. He said, I'm going to stick it to his body until he's able to counter me. With a fighter like Roy Jones, you don't allow him to come to the middle of the ring. You've got to keep him, his back against the rope, doing something to him at all times. You, you're bigger, so use your size. For his part, Jones said, I like Harmon. He's a great guy. He might make a great champion someday, but in this fight, don't blink. Roy Jones has just got to forget about the critics and fight for his life. When that bell rings, Pine, stop, stop. Armin landed you a... You got to uh, win. You got to fight for your life. Work, guys, not only can you lose, you can get hurt in this business worrying about critics. Armin landed a jab and a right hook to the body. He's made his presence felt early. And you got to make promises you can keep. Don't hold him, Derek. Harmon doesn't look tight, looks loose enough in there, performing early, Jones taps him with the left hand, misses with a straight right. Harmon has got the bigger shoulder, the longer legs, he's got to use that side. Good right, left to the body. Jones taps him upstairs with the right. Right hand to the, to the body is partially blocked by Derek Carmen's left arm. There's no way that Harmon can get into a who's quicker match with Roy Jones. Roy Jones sees something, he hits it at the speed. But at this stage of round one at least, it is Harmon who is the stalker and Jones the stalkee. And once again, the body shot by Jones is blocked by Harmon's left arm. Great right hand lands for Jones, a little quick right inside lands for Jones. Uppercut as well. Harmon letting his hands go and fire into the body. Harmon said that Roy Jones outboxes the boxers, 
out punches the punches. He has to make them fight. That's a good idea, but you got to cover your head up because he will hurt you. There's the hand speed. There are the fluid combinations. Harmon smiles as if to say, yeah, I know about that. Not much you can do. All in all, not a bad first round for virtual unknown Derek Harmon. Touching the body a little bit more, you're doing good. If Harmon wants to make a fight of it, Roy Jones is perfectly content to counterpunch him like that. Take it down. Come on, that's right. Dompia box numbers in round one. Favorite Jones, 20 out of 51 connects to 11 of 43 for Harmon. But simply by releasing 43 punches, Harmon showed a greater level of presence and relaxed capability than might have been expected by some. Roy Jones is allowing Harmon to hit him on his elbows and the forearms. You don't want that. It's an old sneaky trick, man. You, whatever the left hand you had start to disappear. Well, and, and when a guy says, I want to fight him, I want to make him fight, one of the things he implies is I'll hit him wherever I can. And that's what you do. That's a smart thing to do because if you're able to land some good shots on those forearms, especially of the left hand, you've got a guy already disarmed. They can feel the jolt. That's an old trick surprised to see a young fighter do that. But they better keep a lot of grease on Harmon's face because Roy is throwing hot leather there. Well, Harmon's got veteran cut man Cassius Green. He knows enough to keep the slick on Derek's face as Roy tries to pot shot him from the outside. Roy's already put his left hand down to his side a few times he did he's already felt it evidently <laughs> he may be in for a fight tonight an opponent going for his body even hitting him on his arm and jones waiting and standing and and watching from the outside maybe looking for one big shot almost got it with the uppercut there well, I said earlier, they're going to have to really apply a lot of grease to Harmon's face because he's going to be grazed by a lot of fast shots. Even when he covers up, Roy Jones throws one. Jones keeping his eyes on the middle of Harmon's chest. Not looking at Harmon's face, focusing on the middle of his chest as he watches Derek come at it. Harmon sticks the right hand and then covers up as Jones fires back. Ray Jones has fought so many southpaws and that he hurt. is effective at, at it, but it gives another southpaw a chance to see how he attacks him. And apparently, uh, Derek Harmon may have spotted something and is keeping him from being as effective as, he would have, as we would expect him to be. We saw the one right hand up the gut that shivered Harmon. Best punch of the fight so far. Those are the kinds that keep your eyes blinking and you start seeing two or three fellas in front of you. You just can't follow this guy around and not do anything. You gotta hit him. Harmon is doing an excellent job of following him, but he's not hitting. Don't try to hit Atlanta, an important shot, just throw anything. Jones with a brief flurry, but round two was a tactical waiting and watching kind of round for both fighters. Yeah, yeah. Letting him get in his rhythm. You gotta stop throwing more jab, all right? You can time the jab and you can time his right hand. He's throwing a hook, right hand. He come right off of it. You let him get in his rhythm, right?
Dickerson totally silent in Jones's corner. Nothing to say to the fighter. I wonder if Derek Harmon believes trainer Don House when House says to him, you're just as quick as he is. Well, Harmon lost the first two rounds, but he doesn't seem intimidated by the occasion. All right, time, box. Doesn't seem intimidated by the occasion, doesn't seem intimidated by the opponent. I think Darren, Derek Harmon can be pretty proud of the presence he's shown in the first two rounds, even if Jones is ahead on the scorecards, as expected. You know, for a Sunday driver, he's doing reasonably well. Of course, Harmon, having grown up in Chicago, is longtime buddies with the fighter who gave Roy Jones as much trouble as anybody else, Montel Griffin. And if Griffin, of course, got the one win over Jones via disqualification, critics would say that Jones was probably headed for a knockout victory. But Montel did have his moments in the fight. His tricky style gave Jones some trouble. Maybe he gave Harmon a pointer or two. I don't think Harmon wants any pointers from Griffin. Griffin. No because way. the style difference? Oh, man, no way. Not him. He's a big man. Oh, Harmon break, should be leaning break, and pushing back, and punching on Jones for round, round after round. He's allowing too much distance between the two to exist for too long. Yeah, so I hear your point. Because he's so different from Griffin in form, as a long, lanky fighter instead of the short, stocky guy that Griffin is, it's two different things. Is what well, not only that, that Griffin made, made Roy Jones mad enough and upset enough to, to knock him out in about a minute. Him out a minute. Yeah. So you don't want to get him upset. You want to sneak in and win the title. Jones starting to loosen up and release his hands a little more. Looked kind of dry in the first two rounds. Sometimes Jones's warm-up suffer because he pays so much attention to Gainer's fights. These are big guys. Ordinarily, Roy Jones would have gotten a knockout, a knockdown with those shots in the 68-pounders. These are heavyweights walking around shrinking down to 75. Harmon probably weighs 185 pounds right now, more. 180, George. 180. Both of them weighed 180 in the dressing room, unofficially. And when you hit those big guys like that, they just don't react in the way that the smaller guys used to. Incidentally, our unofficial weights. When you see those at the bottom of the points, punch that graphic. Keep in mind, it's a bathroom scale. There's nothing official about those numbers. They're just there for the sake of comparison, but they are both weight on the same scale. So if, if it said that the numbers were equal and they were 180 to 180, you can assume they both weighed the same. We don't know, we just don't know for certain that it would have been 180 on an official scale. When you hit those big guys, they can just recover so quick. Great right hand, right hand to the body. Combination for Jones. Jones heating up a little bit as round three comes to a close. This Monday, check out the premiere of the latest edition of Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. Among the stories, Mark Cuban, the NBA's youngest and most controversial owner already. He's in hot water again, this time for running onto the court during a fight last week. Also, some of the Major League Baseball umpires who resigned two years ago are still out of work. Hello, Eric Gregg, and hoping for a second chance. That's Monday, February 26th. Real sports, where nothing is out of bounds. I don't know. You know give me one jab, though. Give me more than one jab. All right? And everything else. All right? Well, give me your best right now. That's all he got. All he got right there. All right? When you get inside, dig. So don't stay in front of him when you get him. He faints. He's going for him, champ. Got to faint. Derek Harmon goes into the fourth round against Roy Jones. Some people, myself included, didn't expect that. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? Okay, Jim, three to nothing, 30 to 27, Roy Jones Jr. Jim, I gotta tell you, first of all, boxing gloves can come in any color. Roy Jones has always picked that Grant gloves, he likes them. The, the gloves of the uh, prerogative of the promoter. Okay, to get back to the fight, Roy Jones Jr. basically throwing two punches. Left hook, straight right. But he throws him a combination. Harmon absolutely powerless to stop it. Harmon pulling in to try to get to the body.
takes an uppercut for his trouble, but keeps on coming. He admits that he has been a lackluster fighter in the past and knew that he had to step it up in this fight. And it's hard to step up when you, when a guy has to protect himself from you at all times because of your speed. He can do it, do anything he wants, but he's not going to get Harmon with a clean shot. Harmon covers up. I'm and talking he's about Harmon. Oh, okay. George. He said, "I'm a lackluster fighter. I'm not going to be lackluster." Whoa! Harmon scraping Jones with a left hand upstairs. A good left hand. He's going side to side. That's good. Don't stand in front of him. Well, Harmon promised us. He said, look, I fight up to the level of the opposition. I'll be better against Jones than I've ever been. Certainly, he understood the significance of the occasion in his career. And seems to have worked accordingly. Hey, good about Jones. He's been in the plays basketball with great big guys. He's not afraid of bigger guys. That's one thing about it. Although he doesn't have the power, but he'll try to jump and rebound at basketball. The guy is a tough little guy. You're saying Jones is a little guy by basketball standards. Whenever he puts together two to three, three punches, he's the by far better fighter, Roy Jones. When he goes with the one-two, he seems to leave himself open for a counter. And now coming down the stretch in round four, Jones begins to be able to land at will. Harmon goes back to punting to the body. Taking your time. Just keep working. Just keep working. All right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Stop it. In his eagerness to get at Roy Jones, an inadvertent and not very punishing low blow thrown by Derek Harmon. In round four. CompuBox numbers, Derek Harmon outlanded Roy Jones. 28 landed punches to only 24 for Jones. Harmon landing a lot of body shots in that round. You saw the general or cumulative CompuBox numbers between rounds. Not all that one-sided at this point. Harmon has done more than show up in Tampa. He has fought. That's the one thing you don't want to get caught up if you're Roy Jones to get hit below the belt too many times in a fight like this. Well, I don't think Harmon intends to foul him. Harmon's just trying to go to the body when he can. Like that. Break. Step back. Break. This is exciting. I think you're being facetious. How can you tell? I know you. That was more exciting. Roy 
Jones is now able to put in the combination straight to the face now. Have not been able to hit him with two or three shots earlier. No, it, it's beginning to take on that you gotta aspect of target practice. If you are Harmon's corner, you got to tell him to get closer to Jones and push and shove and touch him at all times. You can't stand back and box this guy. This is what Harmon needs and wants to do. That's what he's got to do, continuously do. He's got to treat Jones with total disrespect. Some of Jones' best moments right here, and maybe Harmon's best moment on the ropes. Jones is landing good shots to the body with that right hand. Now he counters. All of these things make a fighter stand back and think. Break, break. When he punches up. Guy goes to the body once, then he counters you the next time. Armin switches conventional momentarily. Let's Why see Jones, Jones will going. go against that. Jones goes southpaw. Good point, George. All right, keep touching him like that. It won't be long now, baby. It won't be long now. Just keep touching. There you go. There you go. You're getting in range now. That's good. I'm here. Back in here. Thank you. All right. I think Jeb doing it. I think that Jeb trying to land that right hand full of hooky in the hand. Not a lot of big moments in this fight. This was one of Harmon's better moments, and this was Roy Jones. I don't think that so far Roy Jones has made his case to be moved up to the top of the pound for pound list. That is so important to him. Well, it, it certainly isn't the kind of fight that will make fans forget. Trinidad Vargas or Mosley De La Hoya. But that, of course, is part of the problem that Jones has faced throughout his career because there haven't been any De La Hoyas or Vargases well, in the, the light heavyweight division. And the expectations of him every time are for a sensational performance. And that isn't easy to live up to. And you don't want to be an African lion challenging a Burmese cat and then have to shrink down to his size to show everybody that you're tough. You're going to have to interpret that for me. Well, he, he's a big, strong guy. Why should he drop down and wait to prove that he can beat someone smaller than Roy Jones? Well, but he, he, he was willing to go to 168 to fight Hopkins. That wasn't the dis that where the difference lay. He, he was perfectly willing to do it. Yeah, He was the one who said that he wanted to do that. He says he'd like to go to 168 to fight Trinidad. So someone should be a good manager for uh, those guys and make them sign what he want to sign. Low blow by Jones as Harmon stood in the corner. So far, referee Frank Santori has scarcely said a word in this fight. And both guys have landed a low one. Now Harmon goes back to the body again. Jones trying to give Harmon a little taste of his own medicine with the body punching in this round. All right, break. No punch. Step back. Take a step back. Take a step back. I have a question. If you didn't know who Roy Jones was, if he didn't have the record and the, he didn't create the, the memories that he has, what would you be thinking about him right now watching this? I refuse to answer on the ground that... <laughs> but the guy is good. Guy hey, is a good no, fighter. And you remember, no, nobody questions that, George. He no, nobody at all. He was disqualified once, and the only hey. protection he had was a rematch clause. And you get to be a good, uh, good fighter. And he you came out with passion in the rematch and st and stopped, you know, Montel. Griffin in the first round and immediately decided that he didn't want to do anything like that again. Harmon is getting a little aggressive, but he's catching so many shots. Now he's moving backward. Yeah, Harmon is uh, Harmon is verging close to becoming Richard Hall here. 
Richard Hall is the guy that Roy Jones batted around for 11 rounds in Indianapolis last May in a uh, case of target practice. But Harmon's still better than that as he fires back again and lands to the body. Some good stuff. He can take pretty good shot. Hmm? Where'd it go? Just keep softening him, soften him up. We on offense. He pull them hands tight. Still, hit, try to, still try to ready that right up and cut up the middle. That's okay. Just look at your cheek here a second. Try to slide that right up, cut up the middle. Give me a short hook behind. It. All right. Okay. Doing huh? good. Where'd it go? Way to build them points up. Copy box numbers are amazing. Power shots. Derek Harmon has landed 86 of 136 for 63 percent. By far the highest number ever against Jones and a reflection of how effective Harmon has been going to the body and landing. You didn't used to see a fighter land 45% of his punches against Roy Jones. That's what Harmon has been given credit for doing by CompuBox numbers. Harold, how do you have it through six? You know, Jimmy just does the show. Roy's got a good fighter in front of him, and he's shutting him out. Six to nothing, 60 to 54, Roy Jones Jr. And I want to tell you something. you got to watch this real close. He does stuff that's absolutely amazing. With a minute and a half to go to sixth round, he shoe shot him. I mean, he went to the body five, six times, and Harmon couldn't hit him. It's amazing. And you know, five, six shots to the body. He just steps to the side. Harmon can't touch him. Derek Harmon's got a great jaw, trying like heck, but Roy Jones is amazing with those combinations. Ooh, vicious body shot by Jones. Andy Pot shots him up top. Still got the great hand speed, still got the combinations when he chooses to commit and throw three or four punches at a time. And an excellent body puncher. But he only throws one at a time. If he can put his combinations up, start at the body, and finish up on top, he can get him a quick knockdown. Harmon has got to step it up. Land more shots. Maybe it's the color of those gloves, beige gloves. You ever seen beige gloves, George? I don't like it, I know that. There's nothing exciting about beige gloves. Well, they're, they're a good match for the shoes. Well, Roy being more assertive here. And dazzling Harmon with his hand speed. Harmon has got to put together some punches because the referee is watching. He's got to fight back, Harmon. And he does. to show the ill effects of having been tattooed throughout round seven by Roy Jones. Harmon just can't figure out what to do next. We can get him some kind of strategy. Can't say enough about Harmon's courage. The talent difference is beginning to rise. All we want to do is I'll hustle, man. All you got to do is go to work. I'm telling you, you can hit this guy all day long. One jab is not enough. You only throw him one jab, he's timing that one jab. You got to throw two and three jabs. You got to get on your toes. You can't stand in front of him. You got to step left or step right. All right? You face the guy a couple Don't be afraid to fan him and drop off the left hand if the hand is full. Let them think to do their face. Walk to him and take Come on, go for it. Go for it. Well, this is it, man. This is the world, man. You want to be the title, let's go get it. All right? Here are some of those riffs and jump shots 
that Roy Jones is famous for. And Derek Harmon is hanging in there. Gary Sheffield and Deion Sanders. Wonder where Sheffield will play this year. In round seven by copy box numbers, Jones landed 66% of his power shots, 29 out of 44, and a lot of them were hard shots thrown to hurt. I'll tell you what, I haven't seen trainer Don House before, but he gave Harmon good advice between rounds. Step side to side, be left, be right, don't be in front of him, throw your jab, don't wait for him to hit you, you've got to fight him. Now he's going back to following him around, dropping his left hand. Oh, up, Derek. Right hand, I'm sorry. And just standing in front of him. Takes two steps, stop, drop his right hand. It only goes to show you that the trainer can say it, but it doesn't mean the fighter's going to do it. Ultimately, it's the fighter himself who has to go into the ring and deal with what's in front of him. And it's getting harder and harder for Derek Harmon to keep up with Roy Jones' hand speed. That's step back break, come on, clean break. Good break, thanks, guys. those shots with his elbows. Roy Jones knows that he has a weakened bull in front of him and he wants to finish him. Jones with two big right hands to the body there. Harmon is well conditioned. He's hanging in. But Jones is beginning to have entirely his way. begins to outclass the Dray Horse. is gone. You don't, you don't know where them shots coming from. That's good. Keep trying that. That's good. Give me them foot franks at him. You folding now when you frank at him. Show sure. work. Sure. You don't need that much talking to you. Just keep doing what you're doing, baby. That's the point in the house, baby. That's right. Oh, the big That's point. Steve. All right. Roy Jones has a hurt bull in front of him. Just staying in there on sheer will now. Doing some uh, bullfighting cape work with his fists. And round eight is a round where copy box numbers begin to reflect the vast difference in capability. Jones 32 out of 55, Harmon 8 out of 19, Jones landing 26 of 37 power shots. Oh, that's when you go back to your corner when they were fight the young Cassius Clay when he was young and uh, the trainer tell him get him and they, they, they'd ask get who? <laughs> you can't catch him. So Thomas Corner is telling him to get out there and he just can't see a way where he can get two shots. Roy Jones just too fast. 
We're in the ninth round of a scheduled 12. Harmon taking a pretty good licking from Roy Jones now, but in the early rounds, he had his moments. Largely through the body punch, there are the body punches that you saw right there. Jones headed toward another potential shutout. At one point in his career, he went three years losing only a single round. Keep up, Roy. Keep up. The most amazing thing is how is it that Roy Jones can still maintain that superior condition. Good break. Good break. And everyone is saying there's no challenges out there. This man is in excellent shape. Well, he has no bad habits. Conscientious about everything he does from training his dogs to training his fighting cocks to running his farm to managing other fighters to managing his recording business to running the youth center for children in Pensacola that he operates there. There's nothing that Roy does that he doesn't do well. He's kind of backhanding that left jab, though. The referee should be a little conscious of that. It's a backhand. It's not... Some people, Jim, would argue that his matchmaking leaves a little bit to be desired. That is that is the gray area, isn't it? <laughs> Harmon doggedly trying to come back to the body. Reestablish himself in the fight. He may not win a round, but he's going to win some fans. I wish he had gone to the body a little earlier like he's doing now. Then he could have had Roy Jones in front of him. Jones hot shotting Harmon from the outside. There's the old paint. Don't hold him down, Roy. Don't push him down. will go to the tent. Right, this time you only give me one jab and you're flat. If you're launching with the left hand. You got to stay in boxing form. Hold my. Right. right now you're getting all out of form, Derek. Come on, man. See it. You got the man like you. You got to let the hands go. Can't do, you can't do nothing no different. Just keep doing it. We win the rounds. We land the punches. You know how we know what we talk about. Win is a win. Y'all going right. This is the point in the fight where Roy Jones frequently decides I've won the fight. Why take any chances? Why go for the knockout? Let's see what he decides tonight. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Okay, Jim. I've got a 90 to 81 night rest to that thing, Roy Jones Jr. I gotta tell you, Jim, since the sixth round, we've been seeing the entire repertoire. The up jab, the wobbling shoulder, the alley shuffle, the shoe shine, the he goes south claw. I mean what he expected to do. He's done everything but hit the guy with the referee. Uh, I don't know. Oh, punch way out. It's just that spectacular yeah, stuff and it's all there is to it. He can do what no other fighter can do. But right. George, it was you who pointed out in Radio City Music Hall when he was finishing up a similar performance against David Telesco that great light heavyweights of recent vintage like Bob Foster and Archie Moore were finishers. They were Went finishers. after hurt opponents and put them away. And that Archie would always up, say it's I best to get him. it over with than to keep punishing your guy if you can. Now, but that's a lot of weight that Roy Jones is dealing with. This guy is a big man. They have to accept that he doesn't George, have the power. George, but he's been fighting light heavyweight for more than four years. He's a very muscular guy. He's a light heavyweight. But he's getting by on speed, a lot of skill. He hasn't got by on that power yet. He hasn't shown that he has the power to drop these big guys yet and keep them down. So well, if so he doesn't just stand and try, and he's willing, and he's, as he calls himself a boxer, a technician, and he's willing to stand outside and just beat him with his speed, then, then you don't get the knockout ordinarily against somebody who's... Whoa. Uh, that punch was thrown with knockout intentions. If he just go on and put his combinations together with, with authority, he can do it. Armin coming back like a bull. 
with the, with the power that he has, he has to catch Harmon coming in, trying to throw a shot and beat him to the punch to get the real knockdown. If you reach out for it, it's not there. And while Jones has had a fair number of decisions in his career, particularly as a light heavyweight, he does hold the distinction of having scored a knockout in every possible round. One through twelve. How many fighters can say that? Not many. And that, that's a good thing. Larry, you got to understand, you've been spoiled. You've seen the great ones. <laughs> so you're saying that Roy is not one of the great light heavyweights? Oh, you're trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> well, you're the guy who said it. <laughs> Roy Jones is a great, great fighter, period. But there are some things that he just doesn't have in his repertoire yet. Well, sometimes when a fighter starts getting older, he, start, he can't move as well, he'll stand his ground and start punching harder. That's right. Give him another year and you'll see him... Hey, Larry, take a look at some possible opponents in the future for Roy Jones and, and tell us about uh, what would make him interesting. Well, Mikloszewski is an unbeaten light heavyweight from Germany. Problems making that fight. Trinidad has said his goal is to win the middleweight tournament and eventually fight Jones. Hopkins wanted to fight Jones. Now he's in the middleweight tournament. Joe Calzaghe is an interesting fighter, 168 pounds. Very good fighter from Great Britain. Giroff is a cruiserweight, an unbeaten, rugged cruiserweight. Called the Russian Tiger, a body puncher. Bird uh, was a 168-pounder as an Olympian, uh, moved up to heavyweight. Uh, not a big puncher, and Holyfield, of course, is an older fighter, and originally a light heavyweight, and this fight is over. Armand's corner, apparently having seen enough, Jones gets a technical knockout after the 10th round. It had, in fact, become batting practice in the last few rounds, so for the sake of Derek Harmon's future career, and indeed his health, probably the right choice, George. And he saved us from a probably a good knockout. And Harmon touching his eardrum as if to indicate that uh, he may have an ear problem, and that wouldn't be terribly surprising either. But a lot of these guys fighting Roy Jones will quit when they feel like they're getting ready to be knocked out. That's what's been happening lately. You almost, you almost would prefer, I would think, the mercy killing of a one-two shot and onto the seat of your pants, rather than just getting batted around from round to round to round, as Richard Hall did, as David Telesco did, and as Harmon did for most of the fight tonight. Some guys even ask you, get it over with if you can, please. Really, Jeff? Did you have opponents ask yeah, you for that, George? Get it over with. Come on, give me some of that old George right. Foreman gas. Just give me one of those big fastballs. Yeah. <laughs> Stop hitting me like that. Just knock me out. One time. Okay, bye-bye. Harmon saying that he cannot hear out of one of his ears, and that was the warning sign to him that it might be time to step aside. But a respectable effort, to say the very least, by a fighter who caught a lot of gap from the media coming in, myself included, and went out and fought honorably. And a good guy, Derek Harmon. Final punch stat numbers, and they got lopsided in the last few rounds. But overall, look at that. Harmon landed 47% of his punches against Jones by going to the body, and that may provide a blueprint for better opponents down the road. Jones, 277 out of 538, 51%, and a wide variety of shots in that arsenal. Power punches. Jones throwing 388 of them. Doesn't throw that many jabs. And Harmon landing 64% of his power punches. Again, the body is a target you can find. Mark Biro's ready with the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, the blue corner retires before the bell beginning round 11. The winner by technical knockout and still the